842. You'll know because we're on right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> we're I back. Won't. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Okay. And um, what, a, what a trip that was. Yeah, that was quite a trip. The Yeah, the malware, anti-malware, antivirus, whatever, whatever became a malware virus kind of thing. And yeah, mm -hmm. it, it just pretty much made my computer go douche. Oh, so that was all you. Me and Cirque were trying to figure out what I did wrong this time. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. Wow. It was, yeah, it was Mark my end. Day. Wait, I've got a holiday, the 27th of January. It yeah. wasn't me day. Yeah. <laughs> special now. I have, wow. Okay. I've been okay. waiting a long time for this. Okay. Yeah. It was, and I don't know if my thing is actually, um, doing what it's oh. supposed to or not and i need to check my oh okay that is good so here all right we are alive yeah there we go and i got that volume turned up and i got that you volume got turned, up. turned up well They'll i'm tell... i'm trying to trying to but that... our, our hardcore 14 will tell us if we're here or not yeah, well, that was that was just freaky deaky. I was thinking, oh, please, no, don't let my computer crash on me. Damn it. That's not funny. But well, let this be a lesson to you, little missy. Little, little missy. Yeah. You, know what, you know what John Wayne's <laughs> real name was, right? Mr. Big Tough, six foot what? four, 380 well, it, pounds. It wasn't Francis. You know what his name was? It wasn't Francis. Marion. Marion, yeah, Marion. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Marion Mercer. That was just a wonderful name. Yeah. But no wonder he was such a, you know, mean bastard about it. Get called Marion your whole life by a bunch of other bullies. Oh, he, oh how God, hard. yeah. So they made a movie star at it. Yeah. Well, do you know that his first movie, he was a singing cowboy? Yes. I'm not a big fan of singing cowboys, but yes. Yeah. Well, not at the first but i know he did it so yeah. catch me catch me before i start smoking sometime and we'll play trivia oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what yep I... yeah well you know because i've got one of those memories that if i don't need to remember it i remember it oh it, if i actually need to remember it what the fuck is that I, it just yeah. doesn't stick well, it's, it's like it's, I got a Teflon brain. Yeah, I'm like I got here after disease, you know. <laughs> I just, I can well, people, I people, saw a meme the other day. Why is it I can remember every word from some dumb song in the 80s and yet yeah. I can't remember what I walked into the kitchen for. And yeah, that's my here after disease. I have that a lot. Cirk calls it Ozzy Heimers. Ozzy Heimers. <laughs> <laughs> too old and too fucked up to care about it. Ah, that's some how that works. That. Yeah, some somewhere down that road. I know it's her story. I, I'm just trying to retell it. Ah, uh, plagiarizing the old lady. Oh, and uh, Vince was on last night on the old Freakers Ball chatting oh. it up, Mister Grimner. Ah, cool. So. Yeah, because yeah, he said something about he was going to try and call in, but I was, oh man, I was just so damn tired. I I actually went to bed and went to sleep at 10 o'clock or shortly thereafter. It was like, yeah, well, I was, he, was missing, he was missing out in the desert. Nobody had seen him for a week, and I thought I'd mention it if you didn't know. He really was? Good God. Vinny, what the hell was he doing? Out looking he for was snakes? In the desert. He was in the desert looking for mushrooms. <laughs> and I have a funny feeling he found a couple of them. He may very well have. I would hope so. That would be a successful trip to the desert, if you ask me. Uh, yes. It and, was... and it's funny because he's in Vegas, right, which is in the desert. But yes. But when you're in Vegas, you're not in the desert. You're in Vegas. Yes. So he says, I'm going to the desert from Vegas and it to somebody that's never lived there doesn't Dan going to wow you sound like an idiot <laughs> <laughs> so it was funny to, to watch him explain it yeah well yeah Vegas is but you don't get it because you're not here uh, you know how people get like well we try to communicate with each other do it all the time myself 
and you try to tell the other guy, but the other guy can't see what you're saying. He can only hear the words, and sometimes words just don't do it. Ah. You know, you got common sense, and you can follow the story, but there's like a piece of it missing, and you look like that, that cat that hit the glass. Well, I think I meant to do this. Uh, but yeah. you really don't, yeah, you don't really know, but you think you know. Yeah. Mm. I live like that a lot. Oh. You know what started it all? No, what started it all? I saw a book years and years ago when I was a young fellow called uh, Modern Money Mechanics. And at the time, the other children's called me a dork. So guess what I did with that there book? Uh, I don't know. What did you do with that there book? Well, I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't tear it up and start a fire with it. But it set me on a course more or less to, inter, you know, to um, interpret what I saw as it really was instead of the way that people told me it was. And I think that that was the beginning of looking. Uh-huh. And then all the years later, the Internet came along and made it fucking easy. Well, yeah. Because every story that I was told in the 80s, 70s and 80s, but that really hooked me in the 80s. I can prove them today with the internet. Oh. I mean, back back then, man, people were laughing at us. Oy. We're the joke of the town. Uh huh. And that was San Francisco. Liberal fucking hell wasn't always liberal hell. It had a lot of conservatives living in it in the 80s. Well, you know, and I'll bet you there's conservatives that live there now. It's just that they keep to themselves. No, no. no. Well, yeah, maybe, but. That's not living, is it, really, when you no. um, when you don't mix with your, you know, your fellows, whatever that is. But the city's too big, you know, it's disgusting now. I'm glad to be away from it. Mm, Fil- well. Filthy, dirty hippies. Filthy. Hey, no. Filthy, no, dirty I, hippies. Yeah, I'd rather be with the filthy, dirty hip fellers any day of the week. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's a there's a certain charm in the small town, I must say, Miss Mary. After uh, after a few years of observation. Yeah, yeah, there is. I do. <laughs> I enjoy living in my small little hidey hole. Cause what attraction is there to a big city in this time in life, and in the first place? You know, I'm using the term at our ages in uh, lack of discreet fashion, but I just blew it. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> well, yeah. When you're in your 30s, the city's a blast. When you're in your 50s, the city's a drag. Yeah. Because you've done it all, and if you haven't done it all, and you're going to try it at this age, you're an idiot. Uh huh. Where are you going, Grandpa? I'm going to go get me an eight ball and a hooker. Eight ball right. and a hooker. Okay. See you in the morgue in the morning there, sport. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, Rob works fired up the bubbler. Did I already say that? Yeah. See, when you when you mix drugs with something as harmless as prostitution, you get somebody dead. Ooh. That's why they make it illegal, so that you'll do it. Half of the allure of it is that, hey, you're not supposed to do this. And if you're in a world full of conformity and rules and regulation, and yeah, you go, hey. Fuck them. I'm going to break the law. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, well, if a law is just a total asinine thing, yeah. why not break it? I mean, the more people well, that break it, then actually, you know, once that law is signed and, and mm. made a law, <laughs> everyone that is doing whatever that law is for is instantly a criminal. Mm hmm. Isn't so what that the wonderful? hell? Yeah, I know. They they but, got it covered on both ends, some okay, bitches. Okay, but see, once upon a time, we used to live among sane people that had the ability to fucking reason with things, and there was a an unwritten thing about no victim, no crime. And now, today, in 2017, where we have instant and artificial every fucking thing, you got a bunch of bitches out there crying because somebody said something they didn't like yeah yeah uh, wait a minute now these are the same people that are bombing other countries with 
bombs, but if you speak to them in a fashion they don't like, you're hurting them somehow. Yeah. But, hey, fuck those kids in Palestine. <laughs> they deserve to die. But yeah. don't call me a snowflake, you, what did they say, Republican something or another, right? Yeah. Am I following the lines pretty good there, Miss Mary? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of those things, what was it I had someone tell me, um, there, there was no such thing as Palestine, it's like, really? Where do, right. where do you, oh, good Lord. Where do you get that information from? Well, biblically and it's like oh yeah, see, the, here the we're biblical, going back to that book that book and if you look at a map that was palestine once mm -hmm. they changed the history to suit the land grab and called it a religious war and these dumbasses are religious and they believe blindly what you tell them without any any uh investigation you may call it research hmm yeah anyway. Yeah, it yeah. was being funny. <laughs> yeah, research. Because I'm smart, Michael. I'm smart. Yes, smart. Pop, pop passed me over for you. For you, my little brother. <laughs> You're a smart ass is what she is. <laughs> I know well, this because I see one in the mirror every morning when I get up and I go in the bathroom. And it's like, oh, hey, there's a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bailout was okay. Be nice. Hey, so. No, I recognize it because, yeah, I have that very same trait. So, yes. Mm. Well, I was trying to get on a rant about this thing with politicians want to make it illegal to accuse politicians of crime. Uh-huh. Well, there there you go. That's the last nail in the coffin. I mean, does anybody pay attention to what these people say to them? Well, you know, is there, anybody listening? There is something in the Constitution that, that says that while um, the president is in whatever, um, hmm. performing the, the duties of his office, you cannot arrest him. Yeah, so. but they put that in since. This is new. It's like post-Nixon. Uh, because after Nixon went, the presidential powers grew enormously. Oh, yeah. And after, well, it, I think Johnson was the beginning of it all, where the president started to get all this power. And then we got Trump now. Yeah. And it, it's not, okay, it's all, in my opinion... It's all promises and we're gonna's, you know, yeah. oh, we're going to do this and oh, we're going to do that. And we'll print a bunch of paper and we'll tell the public that the rich are still getting richer and everything's OK. And these idiots will buy it. Yeah. And they fucking do, Mary. I, I see it every day. Oh, the stock market is booming. The stock market is an illusion, and it's a rigged monopoly game. So what are you talking about? You don't got anything in the stock market anyway. Or you would be sit here on RLM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only, only that's gambler's stuff. That It's not finance. It's, uh, I don't know. In my humble opinion, Miss Mary, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. It is. Now, you find a word to describe... <laughs> And that's what you got. Well, that's spelled P B L B L B L. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> You're faster than I give you credit for. <laughs> Bailed you out of another word on one. Yeah, anyway. Well. Hey, yeah. look, Moosey's here. Moosey! Hey, Moose. Hey, you know, they got this one minute link. It's called Fractional Reserve Banking for dummies uh-huh they I've seen summed it. it up in one minute how uh -huh. the banking operates in the world in yep. english yep for people to open it up and look at it and i don't think they get what they see probably or not. they don't look at it something is amiss miss mary well you know if they I aren't ready to under if they aren't ready to understand it it doesn't make any difference how many times you put it in front of their face they aren't going to understand it which brings me to my next point what good does the information fucking do you anyway when that's the damn game that we play? Well, you have it. They do not. And when they mm -hmm. come asking for it, then you have it to share it with them. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe, you know, that's 
Okay, if you believe that. <laughs> wow. He, I'm just not a compassionate fellow. I think by the time they figure it out and they need the help, I'm going to go to the beach and watch the sunset. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's well, what I'm going to It'll probably be in like June when it's not freezing fucking cold. Uh-huh. I have to go out there. Yeah, you have to go out there with a gas heater. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> you know, you stay warm. You got to cook something. Have the dog go kill something so you can cook it. Ah. Hey, we're having a bird. <laughs> right. Yay. Yeah. It is a, yeah, and it is the dog's sitting over just, there on the other side okay. going, son of a bitch, that was my supper, and he just took yeah. it. What the hell? Yeah, she gets another one. She eat hers raw. Oh, so yeah, she is. See why I get insulted when we get compared to animals so often and freely by the MSM? Yay! Because if my dog could eat with a knife and a fork, it still wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. No, nah, she wouldn't. No, it's a dog. And you could teach dogs to do just about any damn thing you want to. But I don't like to tell her what to do for the most part. So she's really a self-willed little bitch. Uh, oh, yeah. God. My snuffles she- has been a little hellion on wheels lately i have no idea what the hell her malfunction is oh i but... got me in a dog suit oh i get it now mm. oh. the dog gives me what i give what i put out <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. well so yeah my snuffles has it... been a, a been a snaggeroony and yeah i just pretty much told her you know just because you are referenced as a bitch doesn't mean you have to be one all the time little stink because man she's been she's been a cranky poo i think she does not like the cold did i tell you what i woke up to this morning no what did you woke up to this morning epic chaos in freddy town at 6 30 in the morning Are you on? yeah absolutely in the morning <clears throat> what the hell before before the sun had risen, this guy had an accident out in front of the house. Uh-oh. Yep. They have this thing for running into the this sign that they put up out in front of the house. has got the second truck so far <laughs> in four years. But it's been three years, three and a half years. And we've had two of the same kind of wrecks right in the same place. <laughs> it's our big excitement living in Freddy Town. Oh, hey. Yeah, and the guy's on the phone, so he's walking around, so he didn't get hurt. And, you know, I I waved at him, and he gave me a thumbs up, so he's just waiting for the tow truck to come get him. Aww. Yeah. Well, you know, could have been hurt. You don't yeah. know. It's what yeah. accidents are about. You know, they bring people out, and they go, oh, you're all right. Okay. Well, and, you, yeah. you know, that's one of those things where, especially when mother tells you, how long clean underwear, so in case you're in an accident. Mom, if I'm in an accident, my underwear's not going to be clean. good. Yeah, and guess what's going first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I would n- never be able to be a nurse because of that. Mm, yeah, my Jewish sensitive nose would pres- you know, would just what would you call it? Prevent me from participating in medical at all. Yeah, I couldn't do it. <laughs> the smells would just get me. Mm. You got to have an olfactory of steel to be a paramedic or a, a doctor or any of that. You know, where you're cutting bodies open and all those vapors and shit come out. Why do you think they wear masks? They're not concerned about germs. They just don't want to smell what's coming out of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some of them know about what GMO foods do to the human body. Come on. They're not all in the game. Some of them know. Yeah. Yeah. There might be a few of them out there. Because uh, I'll tell you, I I was thinking about that. And uh, after that hernia drama, that was the doorway that got me to go for more care because other things were wrong as I was getting older. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh-huh. And uh, anyway, so one of the doctors took me aside one day, more or less, and he was telling me about gelatin will help your cartilage problems because you're getting arthritis. Uh Uh-huh. And it turns out to be a natural remedy that he was not prescribing to me. He wouldn't put it in writing. He was just telling me verbally 
yeah. my, you know, in the privy of the two of us in a closed room. Yeah. Okay. Well, at the time, I didn't trust any of these people. They were, they, I felt they were making me sick. Anyway. Yeah. Make long story short, after all the years of the research and shit, he was telling me the truth back then, and I didn't believe him. Yeah. Well, gelatin, yeah, that's something you dig up out of the ground. Well, no, but, it also uh, comes from animal. Pigs, yeah. But mm -hmm. it's, well, but still, it's a natural remedy, but a doctor was telling me about it in private. And you not know, with anybody around to hear him say it. You know what? Um, Lug had gone to the chiropractor up at Colby. This has been years and years and years and years ago. And uh, after getting his back popped, he. Doc, he and uh, and Doc were just kind of jibber jabbering back and forth, and he'd said something about um, he hated trimming his toes, and he was glad he was able to get down and at least trim his toenails because they were getting a little bit <laughs> yeah. long. And yeah. the chiropractor said, "Do you have an issue with toenail fungus?" And Lug said, "Well, I think so." And and the chiropractor said, "Put mentholatum on it." See. Uh, and Lug looked at him and uh, he said, you'd be surprised what it'll do. Put mentholatum on it for a couple of days and you'll notice a difference. And yeah. Yeah. This was a, a MD, practicing MD. These people are sworn not to tell you these things. Well, that's true. Yeah. Okay. There, it's against the law for him to, to uh, prescribe it to me. Oh, so yeah. He, didn't. He, he did it in a kind of a snaky, if it gets repeated, I can get out of it way. Because I'm not dumb. I know what I was hearing, you know, but he would not write it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's laws. These doctors, by law, cannot prescribe to you a natural remedy. No, they can't. Their... Right, yeah. and they've eliminated out of Wikipedia. You can't look that up anymore. It's not there. They have erased it. Probably. Because I've been on mines, and there's some real good links on mines. There's a lot of crap. A lot of Trump shit and hatred and porn and you name it and it's fucking there. But if you look hard enough, you'll find what you're looking for, I think. Yeah. And yeah. There's a lot of groups to join. Well, I, I like more LM chat. Yeah. You know, that's my little thing that I do with a small group of people that I kind of felt normal with. And then I go to mines and explore. And it's like um, it's like a big video game to yeah. me right now. Yeah. Yeah. So eh, I'm enjoying it for the most part. Oh. And there are, we are so outnumbered, Mary, as far as the anti-money crowd, the anti-government crowd. It's very small. Very small. Yes, very it small. is. Well, it's and there's even small. some that say that they're anti-government or anti-money or anti, and then in the next breath, they're talking about, you can't do that. That's against the law. It's like... Wait a minute here. <laughs> Tell you, my indoctrination will kick the shit out of your indoctrination any day. Yes, any I day. know it will. Well, well, that's the way they talk to each other. You know, it's like, wow, you're battling ideas that are both wrong and you don't see it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what? whatever I want for somebody else that comes from a negative stand... Mm -hmm. Is pointless. It's not even worth thinking, let alone typing or telling anybody else. But yeah. that's the popular right now. Oh, it's huge to be a, a for something or against something. Yeah. They call it, they don't know, it's called divide and conquer, Miss Mary. It's a setup game and it's rigged and you can't beat it. The only way you can beat it is by not playing. Yeah. It's no other way. Yeah. Very unpopular concept, too. Doesn't go over very well with the general public, you know, because they're so fucking intelligent and they're doing everything so goddamn well right now. You know, you know, I've seen people brag about the economy right after I see a link about forced inoculations or making kids retarded. Do what now? You weren't listening to that? Oh, man. I said, ooh, I see a link, pro-Trump, and then the very next link, uh, oh, make America great again. And then the very next link after it is autism from inoculations. Yeah. 
we have the highest rate of pol uh, prisoners in the world and are locked up in the freest country on the planet. Mm hmm Yeah, wow. we are so free. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's what I mean. I think that my uh, avoiding taking this thing too seriously over the years actually played out for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Didn't do any good for other people because they kept trying to change me and make me do what they wanted. Didn't work. You know? Well, but see, they're trying to change you and make you do what they wanted, and you're trying to share information with people that aren't ready to have that Don't information. Yeah. Or, or the frustrating part about it is knowing it and not being able to apply it, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of this stuff, well, I don't know. I just wonder about somebody that's lived in the same city their whole life, never done any traveling. They've been on a few vacations. But to pick up and leave, that would probably be as strange to them as it is for me to not leave. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. My natural being is like, hey, man, go, 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 go. And here I've been in Denmark for four years almost. And I don't have any, no uh, intentions, you know. And to I go say, anywhere, huh? Yeah, but I always say my intentions bring me my results. So I'm getting what I want. And I always, I've always said that out loud. I've always felt for the most part, no matter what the deal was, I put myself in it and I had to take responsibility for what happened. Yeah. You know, not necessarily, well, yeah, I caused it or whatever, but I mean, I was there and I did take part in something. Uh -huh. And if I didn't, if I hadn't gone there, it would not happen that way. But you don't know. That's what life is. You try things and sometimes they don't work. Yeah. Well, a lot of po people don't have to do that. They got their little routines and their, uh, like me now, I don't explore anything. I go to town. That's not a, it's not going to LA. I'll tell you. Yeah. I mean, crying out loud. I see people that I recognize. I've been here so long now. <laughs> I know their faces. Cool. See, I, well, yeah. and they know your face. Yeah, but I recognize them back and I didn't, at first it was like really hard. I go, wait a minute. I know I saw you, but I don't know where or what. And now I'm so, I've been doing it so long. It's part of my day. Mm -hmm. Never had the uh, chance to get accustomed to something like this before at this small of a scale. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of nice oh, though, shit. isn't it? Oh yeah. And, and then it's given me the ability to see um, the city livers from the country livers. Yeah. People treat each other differently. And they talk to each and on the internet they talk to each other differently. Well, and the difference between I what I see between city dwellers and country dwellers is city dwellers will not make eye contact. And country really? dwellers will make eye contact, they'll say hey, they'll wave, they'll Yeah. That's the norm. Yeah, that's the norm around here, pretty much. At least with me, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm the American, and it, it's not strange because I'm the outsider. I don't really know how to explain it. But when they know each other and they've run into old friends and stuff, they stop right where they're standing to chatter. Mm -hmm. You can walk around; they're just insane. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, they're... I'm looking at the chat real quick. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, they're talking about bum knee and all that other fun stuff. And Kate oh, said yeah. sativa and indica ointments. And I have some of that. Whoa, right I, up your alley too, Miss Mary. Yeah. Take it away. Yeah, somebody yeah. somebody brought some back for um, a friend. Actually, Mamie Lynn brought it back for her sister because her sister was having back issues. And she had to have back surgery and all kind of. And the goofy woman mm. did not. Um, she didn't do what the doctors told her and stay in yeah. bed for however long. Um, and she got up and started vacuuming and shit like that because she's one of those obsessive, compulsive, clean freak kind of people. Oh, yeah. yeah, so now she's paying for it. But so Mames brought her back some of that ointment and uh, didn't really help her. But I tell you what, it helps me. I like that shit. Uh -huh. So, yeah.
It's wonderful. And I actually, it works really great for wrinkle cream around the eyes, too. Plus, plus an <laughs> added bonus, when I was doing that real regular, my vision was improving. I need to start doing that again real regular. But, yeah, it did all kind of wonderful things. Well, isn't that, the eye thing was a little more than I wanted to know. Yeah, but it really, it you know, it's amazing the the, um, what you you know you hear that it's good for one thing but you mm -hmm. don't ever stop and think that hey you know maybe that'll work for this too you know and then you're pleasantly surprised because it works for something else as well and then when you really stop and realize that if it's good for you in one area it's good for you <laughs> well yeah but people do not organize as they once did years and years ago ah. see now we're splintered in little groups you yeah know? So the, the groups of there's so many groups now that there's no unity because you got a group against everything well yeah you've always got a group against everything you well, always got somebody going oh but it the drawbacks are so you know what <clears throat> If something is truly going to be a medicine, let's just put this out there. If it's truly going to be a medicine, it's not going to have harmful side effects. No, no, no. Well, as we have common sense on the RLM, thank you very much. But there are a lot of folk out there that are convinced that the government would never do a thing like that to them. Yeah. They do not understand. They think... I have an aunt, a relative, a blood relative. I haven't spoken to her in quite a while, but <laughs> uh, apparently she, to this day, believes that all the horrible crap you hear about Hillary Clinton are just lies made up by the Republicans to disgrace her. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, how do you teach somebody something if they tell you that? What you're going to tell me is bullshit, so go ahead and tell me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's there's the enemy. <laughs> not, the, not the terrorist, not the banker, the moron. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah. I can identify the banker and take him out with a baseball bat, but morons, oy vey. Uh, yeah. Talk about dime a dozen. Yeah, Good they are everywhere. Yes, they right, are. But they don't know it. It's so it, it it's makes me sound like a pompous ass because I know they've been brainwashed and I know that their fuels are inferior and on and on and on. But it still doesn't. I I'd rather live the way I have and will than the way they do. Well, and see, that's why a lot of people don't realize that the government really doesn't have to do a whole heck of a lot. Um because they've got everybody else pretty much um, afraid. Well, They're they've got scared. everyone pretty much indoctrinated to where they will either rat each other out or they will take each other out because the government said you can't do that. And it's like, what the hell? <laughs> well, it's odd to me that we live in societies where the government can do the things that you can't do. Because to the government it's legal, but to you it is not. Well, therefore, yeah. fuck your government in the ass. Yeah. That's my motto. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much more to say after that, really. No. Kind of made my stand, and now it's just a matter of longevity. Let's see, you know, if there's any truth to their shit, how the fuck do you explain me? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how in the hell to explain you, even without if there's any to their sh wow, wow. Well, that. in the last twenty years, my last twenty years or so, I can say I've made a conscious effort more than the first four, you know, about forty, to uh, not do harm, and it's worked out in my benefit. Yeah. You know. And I'm not talking about that pussy, oh, he called me a nigger bullshit. I mean, I don't go swinging baseball bats at strangers because they looked at my girlfriend funny. That's ignorant. But there are people that do that. Yeah. And there are reasons that they do that. And the public is lied to about the cause of the problem. And they're misled. And 
they mimic the shit they read and hear about it, and it's not true. What we have in society today is planned. I don't, I, I don't wouldn't say right down to every detail because after so much, you don't need to do anymore. It does itself. But if you overpopulate a place and you fuel it with inferior shit, society is what's going to happen. Yeah. And, and I say it like that because small towns don't consider themselves societies. They separate and they go, hey, we're a small community. You'll hear that. People will say these things. It's not just an idea. Society is nothing more than a joint illusion that's overcrowded and smothering itself in waste. Yeah. yeah. But if you can train a chimpanzee to play Pac-Man, I suppose you can train a human being to sit in a, you know, in a cubicle and, and do tasks for money and live in a cardboard box. Yeah. And they've proven that, I mean, good Lord, what won't people do these days to either be accepted or earn a dollar? Oh, I know. it. Mm. My God. Yeah, it's like Woody and, and Grimner and uh, Trust No One play on the um, the Bitcoin. Takes a lot of balls to do a thing like that. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you're playing with the unknown. You, the electronic world, the internet, all these things that, that malware shit crashed your computer before the show. Yeah. Or during during the show. Sorry during the that. show, yeah. Yeah, I've been sipping my bottle. Anyway, but the, the point I'm making is that this stuff is so fragile in a sense that it takes a lot of balls to trust that it's going to do what it says it's going to do. Yeah. And we got people like Grimm that have learned some of the, you know, hey, this is what they're going to do to mess you up, and this is how I can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can fix Right. You know, once, yeah, but see, that's the thing. you got to learn to trust some people, but, man, there's an awful lot of yes. people that act really trustworthy. Huh? And, yeah, it takes balls to put yourself out there when you have yeah. no freaking yeah. clue who it is. Yeah. That's actually doing this. You got to you got to yeah. put some trust into them, and and yeah. sometimes that trust is not really well founded. But well, yeah, it happens. So what? Uh, yeah, but know, that's also a a learning part of the learning curve, I think. But a part of your mind has got to be in tune with this other guy's not on not being upfront completely. There's something being held. You got to know it at some level. Yeah, and that's okay. where you got to learn. Willing, yeah, right. you got to learn to trust your gut. Right, but acting on a suspicion is not always the right course to take for everybody. Some people need to wait. You know, we all do things in our own time, so to speak. Yeah. I'm always fast. I guess that's why they call me what they call me, but I make my decisions immediately and I trust my gut 127% on Yay. any given day. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me what color my socks are. I tell you, baby. <laughs> my socks See, and are. Grimner. Yeah, exactly. And that's what people need to know is that participating with this shit is a choice you're making. There's ways to uh, annul any contract that you can get yourself into. There is a way to reverse it. If you want to go the legal route, my route was just fuck them. Yeah. I don't believe in any of this crap enough to believe it. So they're not there. It's invisible. It's just gone. There you have it. And you know my mother's real good at that. So yeah, Oh, you've mentioned that to me, but I, I don't. Well, maybe I do do it to people too, but I'm just taking this this huge social thing that I call an illusion. Once I took it as an illusion, I stopped I stopped feeding it. Yeah. Cuz yeah. when I'm in the city, I go to the bars and I drink the alcohols and I wander to the streets aimlessly looking for prey. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I do drink the I do go to the bars and drink a bit. Yeah, well, I don't anymore simply because number one, it's right, too freaking expensive. Now. In but, the city I do that yeah. as a see, that's my conditioning in the city. I got to the country and I pass a bar all the time here. And and I've gone in them and they're nice places and you can smoke and there's all this freedom and shit. And I found it, you know what? 
I don't want to go to the bar and have a drink. I want to get home and have some cake with Circle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, right, but it's uh, it's very strange for my lifestyle to turn this way. Yeah. Yeah, I spent a lot of years living a certain way, and then boom, it all shifted, and now I'm doing this. <laughs> and wow, it's too much. Yeah. Mm. Well, sometimes when you look back at the little path that you have taken so far, it's like, wow, I ended up here from there. Mm, True. True. That's well, just when wild. But well, when I read about the stuff going on in the homeland and the stuff that they say is going on in the countries around me, mm -hmm. I got to remember that it came, the information came from the Internet in the first place, which I believe about, I don't know, 60, 70 percent of it. Because there's always more or less. You know, it, it's not true. Yeah, but you know, the funny thing is with a lot of stuff that's put on the Internet, those people, most of them actually believe what they put out there. Oh, I'm talking about the big things like 9-11 and oh, Paris, well, yeah. Brussels. Yeah. And there's links to show you how they how they faked all these things. Okay, well, of course there's links to show you how they faked all these things. It's part of the plan. To give you both sides so you're confused. Yeah. Or to force you to pick a side. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it takes. And if you do either of those two things, you're stuck in the fucking game. True. Like the like the little picture I sent you on the Skype before the show. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Put, well, I'll put it up on the RLM. They probably, I don't know. It's all a matter of interpretation. But... The way I understand it, there's two emotions that run life. Yeah. And that's it. And one's narrow and one's wide. And you choose the one you want to be in. It's a choice you can make. Other people don't seem to agree with that. Well, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah, I'm reading well, I, the I, chat I, while I'm you're listening. talking. And I'm trying to think. I've been trying to think. I know it's not the Cherokee. Um there was there was a constitution. It was a, a, a Native Americans had a kind of a constitution or an understanding or whatever, but it wasn't Cherokee. I can't remember the. Mm. Gary L would know, because Gary L was the one that sent me the link years back um, about it. Maybe it was Iroquois. It might have mm. been, but yeah, they had. There was an awful lot of them that. Oh well. Yeah, and then Moosey's talking about her most embarrassing moments. Oh, sweetheart, some wow. of my most embarrassing moments had nothing to do with bodily functions other than the me using my mouth and letting things fall out of it. Because <laughs> then I quickly had to insert a foot, and there were a that few times I had adult. to insert both feet. So. That was the adult portion of the Dork Table program. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Sometimes your wording just, I don't know. Well. My imagination wanders. Your ima well, yeah, your imagination does. Oh, it was the Sioux? Thank you very much, Rob Orks. Thank well, you. Well, and besides that, here we are, all these years later, right? We are owned by the same people that wiped out the Indians to take their land away from them. So I doubt seriously that the stories that we hear today of any positive nature are true. I think that everything that the United States government has ever fucking done was at or to somebody after they changed the word for to of. Yeah. And that was that, that one word change. And, Clinton tried to show everybody in, in open court. He had his last laugh, that prick. Define the word is. That is how technical legal ease is. Yes. Is every word that you use, depending on what your use of that word is, means a different thing. So it started out the United States for America and became the United States of America, which enslaved us all. Yeah. That one word. Yep. Yeah, it's amazing. And here we are amongst all these friggin' brilliant researchers and political minds and thinkers, and they're still voting for fucking Trump and Hillary. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm Please. still reading the chat while I'm listening to you. And <laughs> Moosey, honey, I got to tell you, I was talking to Circles several months back and telling her about how 
we were laughing so damn hard that, yeah, had some leakage. <laughs> uh, uh. And Cirque said that she was jealous because she hasn't laughed that hard in a long time. So, you know, when you look at it like that, that, you, that you've had something that tickled you so much that you lost control of your bodily functions, how many people in this world don't have that opportunity to have something so freaking funny that they lose control of their bodily functions? That's most of us. Most of you. Yeah, but I tell you what, I have had some moments, and they usually involve my family. In one way or another. Yes. Well, I've had my ribs hurt, but that's as far that's as far as the damage has ever gone. <laughs> no, I... I like a camel when it comes to peeing, so <laughs> no. No. I have had a few moments where where I have had that, that trickle down theory. <laughs> like I... I said, ask me what color my socks are, I'll tell you. So there you go. Yeah, well, I see, I've got on this crazy peeing conversation anyway. It's you know, that's weird. that's why I tell um I every once in a while my daughter and I have this thing that not only do we have tears running down our cheeks, we have tears running down our legs. So <laughs> <laughs> and for the video, send nine two flash. <laughs> Stop, I'll pee. No. <laughs> Stop, or I'll pee. Uh, that, hey, that would be a tough, wouldn't it? All right, brother Sticker, this is a fuck up. Give me all your money or I'll pee on you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, told, I told Cirque this story when, when we were first together about a year. And I told her that, well, in case I ever snap and go insane... The day I'm in the court for murdering you, my defense is going to be the judge. You know, judge is going to talk to my lawyer and he's going to say, "How does your defendant plea?" And at that moment, I'm going to pee on his leg right in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Get one of those good medicals without good drugs, because you got to be insane to pee on your lawyer in front of a judge. I mean, hell, I've never heard anybody do it. <laughs> yeah. So if I ever snap. Crack, snapple, and pop, murder my wife, and go to court. That's going to be what I'm going to do. You might want to be there for the show. <laughs> oh, you're just going to hike a leg, huh? Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I'm going to show everyone, everyone in the world. <laughs> but, <little man> can. <laughs> but hopefully, I won't snap and go insane and, you know, Hannibal Lecter, sir. But if I ever do, I'm prepared for it. <laughs> I don't think you would be able to get away with Hannibal Lectoring, Cirque, because I, I have a funny feeling she can handle herself quite well. And she knows where all of the kitchen appliances are, and I'm sure she knows how to use them on you, you little Jewy bastard. <laughs> Seriously? I, I must be better at this than I thought. <laughs> I mean, that's how seriously I take this court crap. You know what they've done with court, by the way, Miss Mary? I know me and you have talked about it on a personal level of time or two, mm -hmm. but we have avoided it on this here door table. Now, I'm going to break that there rule and tell you. Okay. You ready? Yes. You ready? Okay. Got two words for you to research with your little fingers. Admiralty court. There you go. Because we live in this illusion that uh, we live under a constitution. Yeah. And we, and we have a bill of rights and all this crap. I grew up with all this shit, right? And I believed it for a long time. And when one day somebody tucked me aside and said, hey, stupid, check this shit out. I went, huh? <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all these years later, what I, what I interpreted the information I received was... You've been scammed your whole life about everything. Everything that you know is wrong. See, and, and like, everybody everybody oh. keeps saying that, you know, there's certain people that think they're above the law. And I know I've said this before. 
I think everybody is freaking above the law because the law is supposed to be the bottom level that you can go to. And when you break that, you have stooped below the, bo the bottom of what is considered acceptable in a society. So yeah, see, everybody want, is above the law. And you when, know, you're in, when you're anonymous in a huge society, those things don't have any value anymore, Mary. No, they That's don't. The when you don't know the people you live next door to, or yeah. you don't recognize the guy in the store because they change every six weeks, and they can't keep people hired, or you go at a different time and there's always somebody different there because nobody has a real job anymore. Yeah. You know what they call it in the UK? Uh -uh. Zero, zero uh, contract jobs. Ah. They don't, so you're not contracted for a minimum of hours. They can just use you at their leisure when they need you. So it, what ah. it does is it limits your amount of ability to get a, a working amount of hours. And they do it on purpose. While, while these billionaires make billions of fucking dollars and all these yo-yos sit around praising them all, they're working the fucking public to death like a bunch of debt slaves and right in front of each other. And they're all going, eh, there's more work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the I... fuck is wrong with people? Well, yeah. people no, believe. Think about it. I, worked for, I worked for Ford for a, about a year and a half before I, I got laid off. Mm -hmm. And part of that layoff was probably the, the beginning of me going, oh, man, this, this shit's all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Why is it all fucked up? And then, of course, over the years, I learned why. But knowing it didn't do shit for anybody but me. Just like now. It's no different. Me telling somebody else the fucking thing. All it does is let them know it. What they do with it, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. There's just, fuck, there's just so few people that aren't beaten down by the game and, oh, I'm for Trump. Oh, I'm against Trump. Oh, I'm a feminist. Oh, I'm a MAGTOW or whatever the fuck group they get you to, to join is a way to separate you from what collective there could be. Well, yeah, it's whatever label you decide to let someone else slap on you. Well, no, they're not. They're volunteering for the position. They even got like physical ways to identify by the clothing and the hair and the little suits they make. Yeah, but no. you know what? Those lo those lovely little labels or groups or whatever you want to call them, it's because you saw something or you heard something and you went, oh, hey, I identify with that. So you take that label happily and you slap it on your chest. And next thing you know, every everybody's wandering around with these invisible NASCAR badges. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not invisible. We know what they are. Well, no, but, but they you don't have really to. Know, they don't really know what the truth behind Trump is. If the people that supported him, either they know and they don't give a fuck, which is even worse. But I don't think a lot of them have the ability to comprehend the horrible shit this man did to get where he is today. And they're all praising him. Oh, they cut the taxes. Yeah, they cut the taxes for people that don't need the money. <laughs> they didn't do it for people that need the money. They did it for the comfortable. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, Moosey, I was crunching up a paper. Um, uh oh. In any oh, case, no. um, while you were talking and I was scrolling, because you I know, know I you do were that. Ignoring me. I know. No, I wasn't but, ignoring you. I was see, I interacted with What's, you, but are you I. I see this over here on Twitter, and I just, yeah. I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to, just because it's like, really? Someone True. shared, um, today is Holocaust Remembrance Day in memory of the <laughs> six million Jews. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> okay. you, know, you, know, you know, my side of this thing, from what I've read is. What's that? It was about slave labor for the wealthy to make cheap products to make more money. And the Germans were the first opportunity. Well, the Nazis were the first opportunity they had to hire thugs to push it out. And all those people that were supposedly killed was to cover up the fucking slave labor. Yeah. So you would never grow up learning, oh, look what the, they did to these people and made slaves out of them. No, look at these six million Jews they killed. Okay, well... One's true and the other one ain't. Yeah. 
And yeah. one doesn't even fucking make sense. You don't kill your livestock. That's stupid. Yeah. You might work them to death, but you're not going to kill them. That's, that's just bad for business. Any Jew knows you can't make money off a dead butt. Well, you can make money, but it ends <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't continue. continue after the body is gone. You're done. Yeah. So it's yeah. in your best interest to keep your slaves alive. Yeah, but you got to have a few tokens yeah. every once in a while. Right, but see, the people I see as slaves, you do not see as slaves. You want me to name two of them? Who's that? Donald Trump and his wife, that foreigner girl, Melania. Two of the biggest trapped rats on the planet. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. I actually feel uh, sorry, sorry for yeah. anyone that has that position because, man, oh, man, you may be in a mobile prison, but you are still in a prison. But they, I truly wonder, is anybody that truly bad? And then I think about where they're at in life. Yeah, they're that truly, they must be that truly bad or this wouldn't be happening. Well, what did they do to deserve that? And they actually signed up for that. You know, yeah, that's, that's what's crazy they, is they actually yeah. signed up to be in that mobile prison. And they will remain in that mobile prison the rest of their lives. They don't realize that. Because well, they will they not do. have... Who, who cares? Maybe well, they don't even give a shit. I think that, some of them really don't, re what... don't see it as a mobile prison. But Christ, you have zero privacy. Freedom. Yeah. And freedom, freedom of well, moving and... Yeah. 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 But, see, and then it's all distracted with the way you spent $30 million playing golf. Well... Wow, so what? How much you golf know, did Dangleberry play? I mean, Christ. That's not the point. If it's so if it's so easy to to entertain this fool, put him on a golf course and he's fine. Yeah. I mean, good God. I thought I had a short attention span. Yeah, but I tell you but, what, there's an awful lot of business deals that get done at golf courses. Oh, Christ. I'm not stupid, Mary. I know I all know. that horse shit. But I mean, if if that's his big thing in life is to walk around with a stick, and this guy, I'm supposed to look up to him as some kind of leader, and his big accomplishments are failures and bankruptcy, nah, fuck him. Well, see, and I but, just look at it with golf. I, ever, I got into an argument with someone. Well, it wasn't an argument, but it was discussion. They were razzing me about bowling. And I was razzing them about golfing, which, by the way, speaking of bowling, last Monday I subbed for someone and they had city tournament going on and I bowled a 300 booyah me and awesome. one other girl that's a perfect game um, yes, the fluke there to enjoy your win yay but in any case they were razzing me about bowling and how it was such a, a dorky sport and I said it's not really a sport you know it's just something you go do and they said well I golf and I went oh big woo so you ha take this stick and you hit this little white ball or green ball or orange ball, whatever. But you hit this little ball and then you go find it and then you hit it again. What the hell? That's just crazy. It's, but you know, It's a difficult game to play and these people yeah. pay a lot of money to brag yes. about how good they are at something. Yes, That's they it. do. Yes, they do. And I said, oh. at least with bowling, yeah, I do have a bowling ball and I have bowling shoes. And yes, they're ever so styling. But at least my ball comes back to me. I don't yeah. have to go looking for it. Wow. So You know what I'm really good at? What? Not following directions. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. You know what I think saved my ass to make me live to be this damn old in the first place? What's that? Not listening to those idiots that were trying to kill me. Oh. Well, yeah. see. Yeah. They wanted me to do all kinds of crazy shit, and I tried to go along with it, but it never worked out. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, I tried to join the military. You did? Hell yeah. <laughs> I got turned out by all four branches. <coughs> oh. <coughs> now I got choked up on that one. <coughs> wow. You and the military. Yeah. Well, it all started when they asked me if I would kill. And, you know, I wasn't even a big Arlo Guthrie fan at the time, but I said, no, I don't really want to do that. Yeah. And they went, oh, so you're a conscientious objector. And I said, 
uh, no, I just don't want to go kill anyone. <laughs> yeah. And that's when it all went to shit. Well, yeah, it doesn't necessarily sound like a good thing to do. It's not a good time had by all, because obviously someone's not going to have a good time if you're going to be killing them. Well, so. right, but they don't have any trouble getting people to join. Lots I know. of guys want to go in there, and you know why they want to join the military? Why? So they so they can kill somebody. Ah, see, and and I have siblings that join the military so that they can go to co uh, college afterwards. And they could have at least used that excuse. I wasn't tall enough or something. I met all the requirements. They're physical and mental and all that horse shit. Right up until the time I said, "Well, I draw the line with killing people." And yeah. I went, what? <laughs> My poor dad. I thought he was going to have a heart attack. Uh, anyway, well, you know, that, that was the last doorway to some kind of education according to the funds available when I was growing up. Because when they tried to put me in school when I was 13, I wouldn't do it. So I fucked that up. So they thought, well, we'll dump you off on the military. And I went along. Well, okay, let me do this. We'll shut everybody up. And fortune being with what it is with me, I couldn't get in. <laughs> wow. And see, there was see, a reason you couldn't get in, because they knew you would just wash out, so. Oh, it, I, or worse. Whatever the hell psychotic, you know, group I ended up being, you know, put into because of my outspokenness, well, saved me a lot of times. Yeah. You know, that, my shortness. Oh, God. I wasn't tall enough to be a cop, thank God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you see me with a gun and a stick? Fuck, man. I'd leave a wave of fucking broken bones behind me every day. Here he comes! Get out of here! It's the law! Until somebody shot me in the back of the head playing poker or something. But, you know. Oh, Lord. No, no, no. But I've got this thing in life. That I really believe, I know everybody thinks I'm insane, but this thing in life that just nudges me where I should be. And well, yeah. here I sit. Yeah, fuck. Well, it well, nudges everyone. It's just that not everybody goes with it. You just you have a tendency to go with the flow, whether it's going easily or not so easily. But you have a tendency to go with the flow. No, I don't. I have a tendency to be a stone in the fucking flow. And that's the problem is I don't go along with shit. I have a history of it. goes back many, many years. No, the I flow that I'm talking about is the flow that keeps you moving and going and with oh, your that, life. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. But it goes against society. Society's norms dictates that it's wrong to behave socially the way I do. Because I exhibit, no, I will not do that. And they say, okay. That's the end of it. It doesn't go any further. But... In society, in your mind, society will punish you for not participating. And there's ways around it. You just got to know how to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I believe it's 90% mental of the whole fucking thing. And 10% of the time that I spend amongst my peers, whoever they may be at any given time, and not causing any harm. So I don't have to do something physical to get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, all this links, I, I'm, I'm still seeing all this violence, violence, violence. Everybody wants to shoot somebody, bomb somebody, kill somebody, fight somebody, fight your rights, fight to protect this, fight to protect that. And I go, fuck you. I ain't pr protecting shit. I ain't fighting anyone. Top that. <laughs> there yeah. I go. Yeah. It sounds crazy to a lot of people, but I'm drama free, except for me and my wife. She can pick on me every now and again, but nobody else dares do it. Yeah. Well, well, right. Well, that's how, you know, that's the life that I see you can choose. Is you can choose who you associate with physically. Yes. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what we say on the Internet or how many links we know about or how many people we save introducing them to their straw man. What matters is that when you go to the grocery store that you're nice to the kid that, that sells you the food. Yes. That's you know, what matters. they've got a fucked up enough job being stuck in there doing this horse shit. And a lot of people are rude to them. So, you know, I try to 
associate in public with a smile. Go figure. Oh, I'll tell you what. That was, yeah, that I yeah. did that job. I, you know, See, I actually think yeah. just about everybody in mm. um, my family has worked in a grocery store at one point or another. And good job. Yeah. yeah. It is a good job, and it's a good way to break you into just exactly how wonderful society can be. And wonderful you can take however you wish to take. Yeah, and there's a difference between being willing to pay income tax on my labor and working. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because there's a lot of people out there right now that hire illegal aliens, so... If you live there and aren't an illegal alien, do you know how much easier it is to get a job that you don't have to pay taxes on right there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just being a native speech, speaking the language scores you points that you can't get saying, hey, senor, I yeah. will dream your bushies for, for some pesos, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, the reality is true. If I went somewhere in Denmark... With my accent, trying to get something financially accomplished, it's like suicide. Why the fuck would I do that? It's nuts. Because you're nuts? Right, but we come from a society. We, me and you, well, you not so much as me. You're a smaller town area. But you've seen what the city is like, mm -hmm. how they pervert normal and make abnormal normal and normal bizarre. Yeah. And it's working, and the bigger the population, the is easier it is. What's this Jenner guy, the Caitlyn Jenner bullshit? They should have just shot that prick right there on the fucking... But no, look at all the crap they let him do to, to get out of the charges. Hey, I'll go become a girl. Oh, no, that what? wasn't that wasn't Caitlyn Jenner. That was Chelsea Manning. I thought he was the military guy. Chelsea, Man my... Chelsea Manning is the military one. Yeah, Jenner was the the Wheaties box guy yeah. that had his check sex changed after he ran into somebody in a car accident. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. You yeah, the saying? the I'm manslaughter saying, thing. Okay. I look at life. Life in the celebrity life is so cheap that these people will make deals to do things publicly to survive. They have no shame, no morals. They got no code. Yeah. You know? and you're not touching my dick. Unless I'm completely out of it, un, you know, unaware, and I can't fight you back, or you're my wife. That's the deal I made. <laughs> Whether the fuckers out there know it or not, that's not my problem. Well, but yeah. I haven't been attacked by anybody, so I figure they they got it. They figured it out. <laughs> they see what I see. Well, there's. <laughs> At <last>. <clears throat> Flash, I hate to break this to you, or actually, no, I'm going to enjoy breaking this to you. Um, yes, dear. There really aren't that many people out there that want to touch your dick. I hope not. <laughs> I would worry. Good God, at my age now, I would seriously worry about the public. Yeah. Because you know? now I've reached the age of maturity, and I want people to, you know, <laughs> hey, there's the old guy. Leave, move out of his way. Let him walk through. Maturity. Not, you know, I like not that. Not go grab his balls and see if he can still swing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, I, can go to, I can go to North Carolina and get that shit any day of the week. No, thank you. <laughs> Those marine motherfuckers are some sick bastards when they're drinking. Mm. Well, yeah. you know, most people, oh, when they get to drinking in groups, you know, those that oh. wear the same label, yeah, they have a tendency <laughs> to, ooh. Isn't it a fun world we live in? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to accomplish with your uh, longevity on this planet, or did you already do it? Well, I produce children. Isn't that yeah. enough? <laughs> now, no, no, no. now I have I free was, time. I can I do whatever so I want. Yeah, but that's the society bullshit. I'm yeah. talking about, like me, I did my artwork. That was my contribution to life. Oh. Well, my yeah. contribution to life is trying to help people find that healthy spot. Ah, the lotions and the oils. Yes. yes. And, you know, oddly enough, I hate joining groups, but I'd join your fucking voodoo witch doctor bag group if, <laughs> if I had to. Because... <laughs> Well, yeah, I brag about you like you're my kid. Hey, Mary knows how to do this shit. I'll tell you right now. 
I tell you what, I've what? been doing an awful lot of researching on it lately, and it really is fascinating. All the different things that are in this world that, you know, are beneficial if you just know how to properly use them. And you have to know how to ask for them. Yes. Because uh, the questions are so specific now because of the laws. Oh, yeah. It's like buying drugs to get a natural remedy is like pot used to be before yeah. it was legalized. Oh, and by yeah. the way, all you people suckered in by legalized, you're going to regret it someday. Yeah. Go black market. Stay off the government tit fucking Monsanto Frankenweed. It's yeah. going. It's not going to be good. You're going to be sorry. Yeah. Well, that's my, that's my, uh, I like the black market. I don't know why you I have spoken like, uh, one of those communist people, capitalism, you, fuck you and your capitalism. You commie bastard. It's like gambling. <laughs> capitalism is fucking gambling, Mary. And the numbers are so incredible. These people have blown this thing so out of proportion. It doesn't ever need to be repaired or fixed. They'll just make a bigger number. Oh Yeah. Oh, now we're $80 trillion in debt. Keep printing, keep printing, keep printing. And in the meantime, it takes a wheelbarrow to get a gallon of gas. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, well, it might take 10 or 20 more years, but they're just milking this duck for everything they can get. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. And now these cunts are going to meet in Switzerland and decide our fate. Oh, yeah, they always decide our fate. Somebody's going to decide go the cool. fate of the free world. They're going to save the free world. Really? You're going to save the free world? Why does the free world need saving if it's a free world? That's what I want to know. Well, why don't you make up an answer? Well, I'll make I up an answer. Good. The free world okay. gets saved when the free world acts free. and acts. Re but, you know, free isn't necessarily just dilly-dallying and tiptoeing through the tulips and doing whatever you goddamn well please takes a little bit of personal responsibility you got to actually take responsibility and deal with the results from whatever you did be they well, be good or bad wow make it sound all glamorous and like it's a big party huh Go on. it is it is a big no, party no, it's, it's a drag to be responsible for what you do that's why uh, hardly anybody wants to do it. I know. It's the adulting God, thing. Yeah, it's a whole lot easier to lie and make shit up than it is to tell the fucking truth. Ooh, Grimmy, who's milking a duck? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I brought it up. <laughs> they shoot him on the RLM. And I just want to milk me one duck. <laughs> See what happens. Well, you got to grab it by the bill. <laughs> and you got to get one of those little itty bitty pills under their legs. And say, hey, must be a nightmare. <laughs> well, you know that's why they waddle. <laughs> I told you I was from the city. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you dirty girl. <laughs> I, I, I can make a duck waddle. There's a, there's a fucking thing to brag about. It was a big duck. <laughs> Damn thing must weigh three or four pounds. <laughs> you went quack, quack, waddle, waddle. Yeah. Well, somebody did. It probably wasn't a duck. But, you know, you you know what they do that's bad in in town with the wild ducks. No, what? Are they, oh God, do I want to know? Yeah, because you're a you're a animalist. You want to oh, okay. know these things. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, they feed them bread. Oh hey, it's bad for them. Bread, bread's not even good for us. We eat bread. Don't feed it to the animals. That's like cruelty. <laughs> well, to animals. Yeah, I mean in big amounts. Yeah. Yeah. They got birds for the fucking birds well and they like yeah can, give them seeds but, right. or whatever but all the processed shit yeah they don't need that it's process it's not good for the bird but you know but it's good for the five year old child learning to be uh, it's like a misguided kindness yeah instead of the adult going the extra step and finding out what's good for the bird they assume what the bird will like because they saw a scavenger eat it <laughs> yeah <laughs> There you go. Well, and the birds will come eat it anyway, but, you know. Exactly. You can feed them popcorn, bird. too. My mom feeds b birds popcorn. 
Right. So. But there's some some things that we do in kindness that really, if you took a five minutes of reading, would find out you shouldn't do that. That's all I'm saying. Well, you know, it's just like um, why they're getting away from throwing rice at weddings because the birds were eating <laughs> all of the rice and then it was puffing up in their tummies and some of the birds were going. Pfft. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, and with you know between that, all this other shit, trying to stop people from coupling in the twenty first century, yeah. You know? Oh, I identify as a third club legged lesbian in uh, a you know uh, with a lisp, so I you know they a third help me. club legged lesbian ah, with a whatever. lisp. A club leg. What is a club footed lesbian with a lisp? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a group for every. No, that was a weirdo. lot easier for you to say than it was right. for me to try and imagine. Whoa. But there's there's a group for every fucking weirdo in the world now. If yes, you're there a is. weirdo, just post a link and somebody will go, hey, I'm a weirdo too. Want to make a group? <laughs> hey, I'm not a weirdo. I'm a limited edition. <laughs> mm-hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. That's one way to put it. I'm I'm I an original. There you go. I don't dare I don't dare delve into the shallow waters of the slimy depths of moral depravity and human degradation <laughs> at this time. I will pass. Thank you. You will wow, pass. That's okay. Set up. I was going to get slapped around for nothing. Anything I said back to that. <laughs> yeah. Israel to pay civilians to arrest African migrants and refugees, and. Some part of my sick fucking mind says, yeah. Yeah. And other part of my sick mind says, if these fucking Jews would stop bombing the fuck out of these people, they wouldn't never leave home. But, hey, this is no time for rational thinking. Who said I was rational? I was bragging about me. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this here world ain't all about you, little missy. There's other people in it, you hey. know, like me. <laughs> hey. I, I got an ego, too. <laughs> but, I, see, I've got like a, a, what do you call that? A, I've got interest in this thing to a point. And then some of it I just go, wow, you people don't get it. See, what happened is I got born into this fucking horrid bloodline. And there's no way out. I mean, I would like to just disavow any knowledge of it, but once you see the nose, the rest of it's kind of obvious. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. What? I <clears throat> even think like one of those Jew fuckers. Oh. Yeah, I can oh. see profit. I can see profit on all four corners of the globe at one time. It's like a wow. magic trick. So, yeah. so you got eyes like a chameleon, huh? They they're on either side of your head and go wonky and look at everything. When it comes, yeah. When it comes to finance, oh yeah, that gets my attention. Don't know hmm. why, but hmm. I love numbers, like like the uh, the Bitcoin guys. But to me, it's just gambling, and nah, that's too big of a game for me to play. I don't need all that. Well, hmm. No, really. I don't. I don't bit, understand it, so I just kind of. One Bitcoin was like when Kelly was buying them were like a couple hundred bucks, okay. Uh huh. And five months ago, that same or three months ago, that same Bitcoin was nineteen thousand dollars. <laughs> so, that's not a game I want to play in. It's too big. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Jew blood and the Jew nose and the all that shit, but I don't have the Jew initiative. I'm like a lazy Jew. Ah. It's, bad. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, I watch people pick fruit. It's horrid, you know, for entertainment. Ah, okay. Mm. You watch people pick fruit. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would hire on the crew, but couldn't be bothered to really do it all day. It was too hard. No. Oh. Too much. <laughs> so you're a lazy, greedy bastard. I'm like a migrant stockbroker, if you will. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. See, the reason I know this finance and horseshit is so bad is through experience because I know how it's done. Uh-huh. I know what you have to do to talk to people to make these deals that these people brag about making. It's embarrassing. Uh-huh. It's all based on this. Okay. It's the same thing as if you want to sell apples or if you want to sell computers or if you want to sell money. 
it's all the the things that go into it, the stories and the mis you know misdirection is all the same. There's no variation from it. The words may be a little different, but the meaning behind it's all the same. What if I want to sell Apple computers? <laughs> uh, oh well, you know what? I know you wanted to just kind of carry on and do like a whole um, two-hour thingy, go? but I got things I got to do. Ooh, ooh, I got things. Little- girl you yeah okay. and we got now, we, we got sunshine out here so i want to get some good. sunshine now we got lucky to get what we got today because we had the little malware episode thank you yes. Grim, for fixing us yes grimmy thank you ever so much for getting a hold of me once my computer come back and and helping me correct the issue so <clears throat> y'all been listening to the dork table here on real liberty media.com channel three <laughs> and the and the RLM Spreaker channel and lots of other RLM and num and num places. And, mm. uh, yeah, be sure to check back because I'm not sure if JJ's is going to be on RLM or not today. But I know he'll probably be on webcom.co.uk playing some mm. tunage. And then tomorrow at noon is Grimner. He's going to be playing the blues, leading you into the Hal blues. Anthony. Hal Anthony. Yeah, he's going to take you behind the woodshed and open up a can of whoop ass Sweet on your ass. Back. Yeah, yeah. I say, uh, yeah, yeah. And then Gary Ellen and Gigi's boo are going to finish it up with the praise the Lord, thank you, amen, and take you down that road less traveled. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get more people traveling down that road, you know, in their own time. Um, I will be back next Wednesday for a Wackadoodle Wednesday Grammy's Rocket Chair. But until then, Wednesday. Wednesday. Thanks, everybody, Wednesday. for listening in. And um, have an awesome rest of your day and an uh, amazing weekend. So, got anything to say, Flasher? No, just try to send a PM Cirque that number so we oh. ever have a crisis like this. We can make get in contact faster. Okie doke. I will do that.